我现在看到很多心理心理学家呢，就是就不不从这个意识的层面来进行研究，而是从神经系，嗯，神经系统，神经系统跟意识有没有关系呢？确实有很大的关系。I see that lots of psychologists are trying to understand consciousness, trying to understand mind. But not really from the aspect of consciousness, but from the aspect of neuroscience. 而且所有的这些神经线呢，就是跟我们的脑神经就是有有有直接的呃关系。就是所以现在这个神经元当中呢，就是上上多少个亿的，就是很多的这种呃这个神经的这种呃就是网啊，就是神经网，就是一直我们每一个人的这种头脑当中有。所以现在对嗯对脑部研究的美国也好。中国也好，好多包括欧洲的话，很多啊呃,呃科学界人士呢，就是非常重视，就是然后各个国家的政府呢，也是大量的一些投资，一些很多的钱来就是研究。And right now, there's such there's so many studies on how uh, neuroscience is related uh, to psychology, how the neurons work within our brain. The billions of neurons in our brain, how that could create different emotions and so on. So lots of those studies、uh, are done in the United States as well as as well as Europe, and they are put into great emphasis.、Um, the governments and officials,、uh, the the governments,、uh, invest lots of money into such studies. Um,、uh, 也许可能今天，嗯，佛教跟心理学太专业了，但不管怎么样，我还是。就把我所想的要讲下去。Maybe what I'm going to talk about is a little too professional into this field, but I'm going to continue. 因为我们这个佛教思想跟心理学要结合的话，可能只有深层次的来讲，就否则的话，那都没办法就说。Because if we want to really discuss this topic about Buddhism and psychology, we really have to dis- we really have to、uh, talk about it in depth. Otherwise, we cannot、uh, discover. 因此，我刚才说我们的这个身体的这个神经系统跟我们的意识有没有关系呢？有间接的关系，包括我们现在科学界所发现的、所发现的疫苗当中呢，有一千一百万的这种自界的信息。哎，就就外面就是得到这么多的这个神经系统当中的各种各样的信息，但真正人们去使用它的时候是它是以选择性的，可能百分之四十左右的呢，它能用得上。那么这个道理呢，实际上佛教当中非常明显的有这个说明的。Well, is the study of neural system useful? Obviously, it is. It is very closely connected to the study of consciousness in Buddhism. Uh, the scientist states that、uh, every second we receive 11 million bits of information from external world. However, people could only process about 40 of 40 percent of them. That is very detailedly、uh, discussed and stated in Buddhism. Um, <coughs> 佛教当中，嗯，讲我们这个眼耳鼻舌身，呃，就是身体，就叫做是五种根识，五种根识。这些根是所得到的，所得到的呢，实际上是它没有分别的，只不过是对方的所有的信息呢，他们收集而已，他们没有选择权。In Buddhism, we talk about the five faculty consciousness. The five faculty consciousness, consciousness including eye consciousness, ear consciousness,、uh, nose consciousness,、uh, tongue consciousness, and body consciousness. In these five consciousnesses,、uh, there's no discernment, so you don't really differentiate through those consciousnesses. 只有我们的意识呢有选择权，但是意识呢可以分一个无分别的意识状态和分别的意识状态。无分别的意识状态没办法选择，只有有分别的意识状态才能选择刚才所有的信息当中对自己有用的东西。And The consciousness that could discern is called mind consciousness, and in this mind consciousness,、uh, it has two layers. Actually, or two、uh, consciousness included in this.、Uh, one is the 
uh, consciousness that could discern and the other one that couldn't. So one is discriminating consci consciousness and the other one is undiscriminating consciousness. 在画院里面听这个音乐 他的选择权是只有一个，要么我当时想到好看的东西，哦，这是很好看，好看。那那个时候呢，不可能你对同一个事件当中好听的声音也是，哇，这是好动听呢，不可能有两个。也许我们可能没有观察。如果观察的话，